There are two places I would take people who came to Glasgow very, very quickly. You could go for a walk up Buchanan Street from the bottom right up, away up to the top at the bus station and to see Glasgow in its busiest, most sort of thronging, pedestrian, wisecracking self with very, very good stores, some not very good stores two thirds of the way up getting better again as it gets up to the bus stop at the top and the concert hall up there, which is lovely, and the big statue and all that. That's one Glasgow, and, and it's a very worthwhile Glasgow. But, the, but my favourite is the peaceful Glasgow. If you walk from, the, from Kelvin Way, he runs through the middle of Kelvin Grove Park he, to the east of the art galleries, it starts. Walk up there over the River Kelvin, and just have a lovely, peaceful wee walk to yourself. Glasgow University is on your left, the tennis court's on your right. If you want more, just turn right and go into the park. There's a lovely wee walk along the Kelvin, feed the ducks. Happy as a clam. What else would you need in your life? The thing that undoubtedly stands out about Glasgow, beyond all other cities, is this humour. There's a warmth and a humour, which I think comes of immigration, of Jewish, Italian, Highland, Scottish, Irish, all mixed in together in the Victorian times and has come through as this Glaswegian thing. It's a thing, Edinburgh is lovely and, and, and it's got lots of dead things that are very nice. Glasgow is lovely and has lots of live things that are even nicer. And I'm on, honestly confused sometimes by, I meet people in America and they say, I've just been in Glasgow. What friendly people, which hasn't always been my experience because I've lived here and I've met people who are friendly, I've met people who are not very friendly, but I'm so immensely proud of the tourist's impression of Glasgow. Glasgow likes outsiders. I don't know why. Glasgow's the only, it's got two things that you'll never find in any other city on earth. One is, you might not see me doing this, you'll just have to imagine it, but people will give you directions with their feet. You know, you'll say, you say to somebody, where's your square? And they say, ah, it's over there. I just lifted my right foot there. Ah, it's over there. The other thing is, you will ask somebody directions in Glasgow who is walking in the opposite direction to you and the opposite direction to where you are bound. And you'll say, now, so imagine a central station was over there. You will meet a guy, guaranteed you'll meet somebody and say, who's walking that way. And you'll say, can you tell me where central station is? And he'll say, I'm just going there myself. <laughs> and turn you around and take you there and show you. This has happened to me on several occasions with little bits of Glasgow I was unsure about. I say, oh, I'm just going there myself. It's a friendly, warm city. And as I said before, I think it's born of Italian, Jewish, Highland, Irish mixture, which has come up with solid gold as far as I'm concerned.